Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a uh, Thursday afternoon, about 5.23 p.m. California time here. July 10th, 2025 is the date. Uh, got some interesting earthquake activity coming into Southern California right now with back-to-back uh, -back earthquakes. Uh, started off here with a 3.6 down here near the uh, Borrego Springs area. Also, literally uh, just about a minute later, a 3.0 over here off the southern branch of the San Andreas Fault with a three-pointer at, uh, again, just off the southern bend here, this little area along the plate boundary. Got some interesting activity stirring up. Uh, it did show up on the seismograph station here. That's the 3.6 closest to the Anza station. And then there's the uh, secondary earthquake, which is a three-pointer, but further away from the Anza station. That's why it's showing up like that. Uh, so we got uh, a little bit of uptick going on here. Got to keep an eye on that because we got uh, a lot of movement going on out here across the west coast here recently still got uh you know some concern about that uh, about ready to pop here been uh, 300 years since this extreme southern segment here has had any rupture and there's obviously a lot of time has passed since the uh oh the 1857 earthquake or so there's you know a lot of time has definitely passed out here so we're living in a time i think we're going to see some uh interesting movement for sure so watch that. Uh, again, holding steady at uh, 3.6 and a 3.0 there in Southern California. Still got a lot of activity ramping up here across the Mount Rainier area. Uh, closing in on close to 400 earthquakes. I'm sure we're well over the 400 earthquake map or earthquake mark uh, if we were to count every single one that's been taking place up there. Um, this is just a little layout here from the PNSN network showing that it's you know pretty much kicked up out of the blue there across the volcano mount rainier uh, at about uh, the level there it's roughly about sea level or below so when you see these magnitudes of negative uh and so on uh it's basically it's accounting for the um well, sea level, right? If you think about that, that's going to be just just below sea level. But the mountain here itself is what fourteen thousand or eleven thousand. I can't remember the exact peak up here. Uh, looks like fourteen thousand four hundred and eleven feet. So it's a couple miles down underneath this area, which would be the equivalent here to this uh, depth there that you see on the map. They're just it's not right at the top of the su summit area. Some is, but uh, a lot of it's. Uh, a little bit deeper than that and this layout here which is uh, pretty simplified kind of shows uh the depth right here mainly around sea level or just below that and this goes back to the year 2017 of course it's really ramped up here in the last couple days uh they had you know somewhat of a similar swarm in 2009 some uh back in 2010 um, and, you know, periodically we'll, we'll see some occasional quake activity there on any given day. But this is definitely a, a decent swarm for sure. And uh, this volcano has not erupted in uh, over a thousand years at least. It looks like it's definitely getting more active though, right? If you look here on the, um, the timeline, the increasing movement of earthquakes here over the, over the decades... So continue to watch that. Uh, a real quick glance here at the seismograph station there in that area. Uh, shows 387 earthquakes here in this area uh, with this ongoing swarm. And again, you, you know, if you were to count every single one of these, it'd be way up there, probably above 1,000 or so. This is the last 24 hours here. Looks like it is starting to die off a little bit. Not so much earthquake activity. Uh, within these lines there's still some very small ones but it looks like some of these other ones are uh, starting to be spread out a little bit more but we'll continue to watch that folks and uh, of course cover that more uh, in tonight's update just wanted to get out there this earthquake activity real quick 3.6 and a 3.0 down there uh, you know opposite sides of the plate boundary here that's not good for this area which is the main area the the uh, plate boundary itself 3.6 just literally one minute later 3.0 so the strain is increasing out here across the southern portion of the state be on guard again we'll cover this and more folks in the uh, nightly update tonight here in a couple hours or so a few hours it's still early and 100 and 103 degrees outside and smoky so uh, we're just gonna stay inside and uh, play it cool where it's uh 
about 70 here in the uh, computer room. We'll catch you guys out here a little bit later on this evening, folks. Stay safe.